and the Sermons Community Air Force Base. We'll stay with the question.
you know, the, the whole constant misconception that people didn't want those two and a half acre lots out there got, you know, this, you know had, had disappeared. Because these folks were wanting, they were getting a little bit bigger lots and uh, out there, and, and they're set. And people are set, people are buying them. And so, you know, I don't know that we throw the baby out with a bash of work. And, you know, uh, because I know there was a lot of, a lot of talk about maybe going down to one acre lots in, uh, in that UAD. Well, the UODC, the bottom line is the UODC affected land values. That's right. right. So yeah. you could buy it to an acre lot for a little more reasonable price than what you would like to do. So that's your right. It worked out fine. But the, but the, new, the new subdivision is going to have two and a half acre lots. You'll be on County Water and Sewer. You're going to have two and a half acre lots on County Water and Sewer. Yeah. Well, I think the big issue is what they're concerned about is just encroachment and the density of that encroachment, like you said, is the bid that drop them from their prep crops. And you've got high density subdivisions right there. It's going to just take out many out. It's not going to just get one, you know, if it happened to land on it. So there's definitely still a responsibility that we have, but also have consideration for the fact that that we're not so restrictive in there that we're preventing some potential positive growth that could actually benefit Moody in the long run. And that's where that conversation is going to really have to be open with them. I know staff will say, well, I don't want a sit-down restaurant out there, but if you talk to those people that's coming in and out of that gate every day, they may tell you that, hey, I really would love to have something here that I can run out here and get something to eat and take a short break than to have to go all the way to the closest places at the Bemis at that area or go all the way into Valhasta to do that. I think the third lady I saw was the Pentagon. And the Pentagon says, you can buy tacos on base. We don't care if it's convenient for you, but yeah. from a busy standpoint. Yeah, well, and, and that, may be the, that may be the position. Because that was the last, I remember whenever we went through the 2006 development process, what held up that adoption was us waiting to hear back from Washington on what they would. Yeah. The, the base sent their recommendation up, and then we had to wait. And, I, and, and let me clarify, I'm not saying go against what DOD wants sure. out there. Okay, I'm just saying that currently as we, as, as the ULDC is written, we just need to look at it to be sure that we're not doing something that even DOD would like to say, yeah, that would be a nice addition to be able to have some of those amenities out here near the base for the benefit of our personnel. Just want to be sure, take a good hard look at that and see. But from the standpoint of Moody and protection from encroachment, you're not going to get any better than the MAZ zone. I mean, that was one of the first of its kind when it was done. Um, and so, the Department of Defense, the Air Force specifically, I mean, they still talk about it today that Moody has that in place to prevent that encroachment on. On the base. Now, a lot of that is done way or could have been done way before we ever got there. And then the sad part about that is, in my opinion, is that it could have given Moody base itself the opportunity to expand and have a bigger geographical footprint, which could have brought bigger and better possible missions to it. But when you look at Moody Air Force Base from the standpoint of geographical footprint, it's a relatively small air base. It's an air base, small, but they're not. They do a lot of stuff out there on that, on that base. But there's some missions that's out there that probably are not conducive to that much smaller air base. Does that answer your question? Mm -hmm. And what? Marcus? I'm from Tolia Grant, so I love what we do for uh, that uh, Phoenix area. And, and uh, uh, a lot of that, I was just thinking along the lines of even some of those uh, city farmers or people that own properties that they can never develop. Uh, do anything with, you know, probably because they're 
taken for the team. I mean, you know, uh, for us protecting them, we was there was there any type of tactics or anything that we could do uh, to uh, you know, make them feel better about their investment perhaps that they had for years or maybe inherited. You know, I don't know. That's kind of been something I think on the lines of if you if you recall Commissioner Edwin, that's a sign letter. When this was first created, the majority of the property owners, uh, owners at the 